Well, most people celebrate New Year's with fireworks, but as the holiday approached, celebratory gunshots were, were another loud sound heard by residents within the city of Shreveport. KSLA News 12's Michael Barnes spoke with one resident who was just inches away from a New Year's Day tragedy. It's normal to hear fireworks outside of your house as the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve. But as you saw in that video, people living in Shreveport heard gunfire instead. We took to Facebook to see how the holiday evening was for Shreveport residents, and the responses were almost endless. Most of them saying they heard gunfire all night and that the streets sounded like a war zone. One resident from the Sunset Acres neighborhood told us they spent the day along with their neighbors cleaning up these shell casings from the overwhelming amount of gunfire, saying it only took them five minutes to collect this many loose pieces. As senseless gunfire echoed throughout the city of Shreveport on New Year's Eve, Cedar Grove resident Glenda Wright was standing on this porch when she heard a bullet whistle from above, striking the porch inches away from her leg. I felt something hit my leg. I thought I'd been shot. I'm not going to lie. I thought I got shot. But it had made the wood spray up and it was like right beside my foot. When she says inches, she may mean only one or two, being that this is exactly where her foot was when the bullet fell. Wright is just one of many concerned residents who believe that New Year's gunfire is not only unnecessary, but also dangerous. It took me a second to realize exactly what it was. But once I realized that's that's what it was and I looked down and saw the hole in my porch, I freaked out. I was scared. I, I stayed up the rest of the night because I was too scared to go to sleep. What if it happened again? Bullets came through my roof and hit my kids. She has four of them, one son, two twin daughters, and an older daughter, Regina Crocker, who was standing right next to mom when the bullet struck the porch. I was just scared because I heard it hit something and I didn't know if it hit my mom. And that just had me terrified really I same with her like I couldn't sleep or anything Glenda says her foot was actually over the spot where the bullet fell just minutes before it happened and feels that divine intervention was the only thing making her move her foot back aside from her personal incident she tells me she's frustrated with the way people go about ringing in the new year why do we have to feel like we're in a war zone seriously like that, that was crazy. It was like thousands of gunshots at one time. Where'd all the bullets go? After an eventful holiday, Glenda is fed up with her family's current living arrangements. That made me feel like we are moving really soon. I'm not staying here much longer. Reporting in Shreveport, Michael Barnes, KSLA News 12.